Deontay Wilder for Anthony Joshua Project has begun. <laughs> Operation Avoid Deontay Wilder for Anthony Joshua Project has begun, my peopleizations. So, during the whole hour and 15 minutes, a shout out to my brother Coogan Cassius. But Coogan, got to get you. Eddie, good promoter, but I got to get you. Got to get you. Got to get you. Okay. So let's get into this, my peopleizations. So I listened to a whole hour and 15 minute interview of Eddie Hearn talking about Tyson Fury, breaking down Tyson Fury, what took place in negotiations, how he even let it known, be known that they never even offered uh, 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 Cali Mexican 707 said Joshua's on a different level than, than Deontay Wilder. Just face it. Okay, now explain that, Cali Mexican. Go ahead, Cali Mexican, explain that. Because I got a little bit of time. I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. Go ahead, tell us. How's he on a different level? They both have one loss. What level is he on? He His net worth is only $6 million more than Deontay Wilder. So please explain to me. What level? How is he a level above him? Go ahead. They both have one loss. Wilder has more knockouts in his career. He has successfully defended his title 10 times. He held the belts longer than Joshua, and his net worth is only $6 million more. So go ahead, Cali Mix. Explain to us how is he levels above him. Go. Boom. Those are the words of Blue Blood Sports TV as he conducts his live uh, show. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV, partner in crime, always going to disagree from time to time, bars. But this is another one that I disagree on because someone came in and said that Anthony Joshua's levels above Deontay Wilder. And of course, being a Wilder supporter like Blue Blood Sports TV is, he was like, how so? He's got more knockouts, right? <laughs> more knockouts. He's defended his title 10 times. He's only $6 million more, right? So how is he on a different level? Well, let me counterpunch. I will answer that question for you, Blue. Anthony Joshua was on a different level from Deontay Wilder because he started from a different level from Deontay Wilder, easily. Bronze. Gold. That's amateur, right? Now, you can argue... That they both started late. They both started late. Absolutely. But when they started, who excelled more? A bronze champion or a gold champion? Okay. It's one. Two. Anthony Joshua won his first title. Right? IBF. Boom. Knocked out Charles Martin. Wilder. Oh, year before. Got the WBC off of Bermain Stavern. Now, the, the strange thing about that is, here, here's, here's the uh, confusing thing, the difficult thing. These You had so many fighters never fighting each other, so it's a hard, uh, hard parameter to see. Because who, did Charles Martin ever fight Bermain Stavern? No. You know what I mean? Charles Martin was an unbeaten champion that won a belt from disqualification. Deontay Wilder went 12 rounds with Bermain Stavern, a heavy-handed Haitian fighter, Bermain Stavern, that took out Chris Ariola, that gave Andy Ruiz hell. So you can argue with that. But those guys never fought, so really can you? Okay, so that's one belt, WBC and IBF, right? Wilder, Joshua, boom, right there, easily. Right, so they're both champs. Now, how long did it take Wilder to do what Anthony Joshua did? Counterpunch. That's what you need to know right there. The excel in time and speed and progress that Anthony Joshua did fighting, what, half the amount of time. Deontay Wilder has been, uh, uh, what, a professional 12 years, 13 years? Joshua, what, six? That's all you need to know right then. If you take a student and it takes him 12 years to do something, or should I say twice the amount of time to do something, that one, then, then another student goes and does it in three. What's more impressive? 
Okay, and then we'll look at it like this. He went 12 rounds with Bermain Stavern. He knocked out Charles Martin in two. What's more impressive? Come on. That's three. Okay. Did Joshua stop there? No. <laughs> he took on Klitschko. Uh-oh. Klitschko, that's a whole nother, whole nother level. Klitschko, let's look at Klitschko for a minute. Klitschko was the same guy that said Deontay Wilder needs to step up his game because who was at the top? Vladimir Klitschko. Fury came in, stole a win, right? And then got the hell out of Dodge for three years, so really didn't count as much, right? He ran away from a second fight. Come on now. While Vladimir was still the guy to beat, okay, he was still he was still considered that guy. If you're going to beat that guy, it better be Vladimir Klitschko. It wasn't Wilder, okay? Wilder was a commentator at that fight, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world on Sky Sports, mind you. When Anthony Joshua duped it out with Vladimir Klitschko. Come on. Right? Yeah, he dropped Joshua sixth round. I had Vlad winning the fight. I had him beating Joshua. I was wrong. Okay? So sue me. I didn't think he had the experience because he started so. This is a short amount of time. He ain't got enough experience for Vlad. That's what I thought. So don't call me biased. I just thought that Vlad was going to beat him. But did Wilder want to go anywhere near? Matter of fact, did, uh, did, his man did their manager wanted to go anywhere near Deontay Wilder? Or should I say Vladimir Klitschko? No, he didn't want Deontay Wilder to go anywhere near him. So knock it off. Okay, so that's four. <laughs> Got the vacant WBA, so that's two. Right? Then fought Joseph Parker, that's three. Where Wilder at? At one. Come on now. I mean, you want to talk about uh, net profits and things of that nature. I'm not, I don't even agree with $6 million. It's a lot more than that. $85 million compared to what? Have, have Wilder ever had $85 million? Ever? No. I mean, that's a, that's a huge amount of money. So I'm not saying it like it's it's chump change. But I'm just saying one night, he won one fight. Yes, they both lost. Yes, they got stopped in the seventh round. Or, they, or, it's, or it stopped or they got stopped. One of the two. They either called it off or they threw in the towel. So they were both, it, the, the, the fights that they lost that stopped in the seventh round, people, for sake of argument, okay? So, there you go. So, to answer the question real quick, this was sent to me, so I had to counterpunch. So you're saying Joshua's level's above, okay, yeah. And they tried to set that up. Wilder wanted more money, but for what? He had one belt. He fought twice the time. Why would he give you the money that everything that he worked for and then all of a sudden I want 50% of that? Why? What did you do? It was said that Vlad told him, hey, you ain't fought anybody. That's the equivalent of Canelo telling Demetrius Andrade, you fight nobody, man. You're horrible, man. Right? That's one of those same situations because he's in the same boat. Or he was. He fought Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz beat Brian Jennings, Malik Scott, the diver, and who else? Dave Allen? And I love Luis Ortiz. El Cubano para siempre. Yeah, right? But that what, what does that mean? What does that really mean? An older Ortiz. Oh, and by the way, Wilder said he would never fight him when he said he was a cheat four, three, four years ago. Before that. I think it was like back in 15, maybe 16. So I might it, it might be two and a half. Okay, so there you go. But he ended up fighting him anyway. In fact, he ended up fighting him twice because he hurt him and then he cheated that man. So nobody talks about that. Mm. Okay, should we keep going? Your, your manager didn't even want you to fight no one significant, especially Vlad. And then when Joshua beat Vlad, you think he wanted to put you in there with Joshua? Really? Why do you think he made it so hard? Come on now. So that's the reasons why Anthony Joshua is levels above Deontay Wilder, okay? And it's not taken away from Wilder or anything like that. He's just not there. The only way he got there, he hyped up the idea of fighting Joshua. That's all. It worked. Bravo. Because he upped his stake by fighting another person that did the same thing, hyped up Joshua's name to get his fame. Bars. And his name is Tyson Fury. He did the same shit. He looked at Wilder. Damn, that really works. Because I know Wilder ain't fought nobody. <laughs> the run, the one-trick pony. 
That's why right there. But anyway, this is volume one. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.